Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Today we'll take a look at this integral, um, the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log x times natural log 1 minus x. Alright, so first thing, we are going to recognize that the following is true. The natural log of 1 minus x is equal to uh, this sum, negative sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of x to the n over n. That's a fairly well-known sum right there. Um, and then we're going to replace that natural log 1 minus x in our original integral with that sum, giving us the following. So now we just have this. And then we will switch the uh, integral and sum signs and factor out the 1 over n plus 1, giving us this. Okay. So now we just need to evaluate this integral, and we can do that without, without Feynman integration. But since this is a channel on Feynman integration, we're going to use it. Um, let's first recognize that uh, the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t dx is 1 over t plus 1. Um, using uh, Taking a derivative with respect to t on both sides, obviously on the left-hand side, you will need to use the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign, which says you can take the derivative of this integral directly with respect to t just by taking the partial with respect to t of the integrand and leaving the rest alone. All right, so taking a derivative on both sides gives us this. Uh, that the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t natural log x dx is negative 1 over t plus 1 all squared. Okay, well, if that's true, then this is true. The integral from 0 to 1 of x to the n plus 1 natural log x dx is negative 1 over n plus 2 all squared. We just replace the t with an n plus 1. Okay, so now we can replace this part right here with negative 1 over n plus 2 all squared. All right, so our integral transforms into this. Um, and then you can see what I did. Um, it originally transforms into this, and then I add 1 to the index on n, um, and subtract 1 from all the n terms inside the sum. So those two sums are equivalent, and they are both equal to the value of our original integral. All right. Now, um, that 1 over n times n plus 1 squared can be decomposed us using partial fractions into the following. It's just 1, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 all squared. So, we now have i is now equal to the um, the sum of the following three sums. Okay. So, what are we going to do with these two right here? Um, well, let's just manipulate it a little bit. Um, let's go ahead, and you can see what I did is I subtracted one from the index and added one to the index. So now we have something minus the exact same something. Um, and you could have shown that those two canceled out, um, you know, other ways, but this is how I like to do it. Um, oh, I'm sorry, they don't cancel out yet, actually. They don't cancel out yet. Um, we have to do one more thing. We have to get this index back to 1. And what we'll do to accomplish that is we will just subtract the n is equal to zero term and instead start it at one the n is equal to zero term is just one so we need we're going to be taking one away and then adding one back to it so now we have this and now this and this are exactly the same and they go away so now our i just becomes this um and again, that's equivalent to this. All I did was added 1 to the index and subtracted 1 from all the ends inside. All right. Next, um, you'll notice I transformed this part into this. And again, what I did is um, 
I added an n is equal to one term onto this sum. Um, so instead of starting it at two, we're starting it at one. Um, but that means we need to add another one because the n is equal to one term is one. We're subtracting it. So if we get rid of it, we need to add it back. Okay. So now our i is equal to this. And many of you already recognize that, that this sum without the negative sign is equal to pi squared over 6. That is the sum of the reciprocals of the squares. That's pi squared over 6. So our integral is simply 2 minus pi squared over 6. And that's it. That's the answer. Um, so uh, the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log x times natural log 1 minus x dx is 2 minus pi squared over 6. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.